Hello everybody, welcome to my video. So this is the Lumix S5 Mark II X. So I got this camera about, you know, almost two weeks already. And then I spend quite a lot of time with this. I film with it, I take photo with it. And I quite regret to sold my A7 IV to this camera don't get me wrong it is an excellent camera for the money that you are paying for this sub two thousand dollars you know that's for the body alone but if you pair it with a very nice lens like mine right here this is the Sigma 24 L mount so it's gonna add you extra seven to nine hundred dollars you know, depend on the market where you where you live so what I expect from my a7 IV you know when I transitioning from Sony to this camera the first is the stabilization I got it I happy with it overall in terms of image stabilization it's better than Sony but not in every way you know like mine right here in this case I film with 24 millimeters I only use the IBIS only it's good if you do just handheld things like this you're not walking too much you know let me get close to the camera this is the zve 10 anyway if you know if you do something very slow panning things like this you got the job done it's nailed there it's very stable but when you're walking with the 24 millimeters there is some kind of wobbling all over my footage it just like like uh jelly of it. what what should I say you know it's too much wobbling but it's okay overall the image stabilization I like it you know it's better than my Sony a7 IV it's better than another uh, another brand I believe but there is just minor you know uh, thing in that stabilization that I want to mention for you guys okay so next is the autofocus yes Lumic nail it you know it focus very well never hunt never lost me at all you know i like it but i don't understand i want to say i don't understand if you do 1080p in 30 frames per second you absolutely fine as far as you go 1080p, 1080p 60 it will go back to contrast based detection autofocus just like previous panasonic but when you do in 4k 60 fps the autofocus is in phase detect which make me want to put a question right there question why 1080p might be much easier for the camera to handle the data rate the frame rate bit rate things like that why <laughs> you can do face attack in 1080p 60 fps that is the question that i want to want to put there you know the autofocus is not good as you guys can see this is 1080p 60 you know the focus is just never grab my face which I don't really understand at all <laughs> you know I don't understand of course I'm not gonna do 1080p 60 anyway I only shoot 4k right now but I just want to say I don't understand why and then this camera what I was so hopeful I wish I can get you know 4k 120 FPS but I wish I could know earlier you know but it doesn't have 4k 120 uh, 120 fps you only get 1080p at 120 fps and the same thing you know your autofocus is not there in that high frame rate the autofocus is just the same what panasonic used to be in the past and people complain so much about that now it's still the same you know 4k everything is fine i test the 4k in 4k uh, uh, 60 is absolutely fine in face detect 4k 30 absolutely absolutely fine 6k open gate absolutely fine no problem right there even in 4k cinema there is no pro problem the problem is on uh, in the 1080p 60 and 120 20 fps in 1080p that's what i want to say why <laughs> i want to put a question right there why 1080p should be much easier for the you know for the um, I mean for the for, for the processor to handle that data rate but there is no face detect in there 
that's what I, that's what I want to share with you guys. And also, one thing that I want to share with you guys um, is a color. You know, yes, yes, it it can be good sometimes. It it but that is a personal preference. You know, personal taste. But to me, I found that the Panasonic default color. It's just too contrasty. But you can solve the problem by shooting, you know, in vlog, something like that. Or you can make some adjustment right there. That absolutely no problem right there. But I just want to note, I just want to share with you guys, the color straight out of the box with the Panasonic, it's just super contrasty, you know. And the black is crushed, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> crushed, I don't like that at all. And the bright point is okay, but it's just too contrasty, guys. If you have dark uh, brown skin like mine, you know, you don't have a beautiful, beautiful face, and you start to see right there, it. I, I, I don't want to say that the color is just not my favorite at all. Last thing that I want to share with you guys, let me complain that a little bit. Yes, the menu system is very nice, you know, very nice but it's not nice to operate you know and one thing that i want to point out their quick menu their quick menu what they put here you know they put here the exposure mode okay nice record format nice and record quality nice they only nailed three of those but the other thing down here you know what they add here? What is contrast? What is highlight? Why they add things like this here? You know, there is no audio record level that you can adjust directly from the from the menu right here. Of course you can change this, you can remap this. But I want to tell you in quick menu for video there is must be better way to implement, you know. They cannot put any something like I don't understand why shallow why things like this. I mean, there's three row down here. It nothing, nothing related to video. Of course, I mean the picture style. This thing it should be in the sub menu when you do another press in that picture style. It should navigate to another me another menu that you can do adjust from there. You cannot put things like this absolutely cannot you know why saturation why balance yes right okay there but why is it shallow why is this highlight right here contrast sharpness blah 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 things like that as i said you can add that by yourself you know you can adjust that in in a menu setting by yourself but by default i think panasonic should understand you know they should not do this you know this is this is not what i want and I'm so confusing sometimes. Their dial, their button, it just, they work differently, you know. They, they work differently, as I said. I, I kind of, man, <laughs> that, that, that's it, guys. All right, so that's it what I want to share with you guys in this video. Hope you found this video useful. Of course, it's a great camera anyway, you know. Um, but if you compare this to Sony, I think Sony is still ahead, you know. Both image quality. Well, if you talk about the what I what I what I should say, you know, record in SSD. That is the big plus right there. 6K open gate maybe, but I I don't do 6K anyway. I don't do open gate. I only do 4K, 16 by 9, and I'm enough. You know, if I want to do TikTok video, I can crop from that 16 by 9 video, and I still. You know, maintain my resolution perfectly there. No lost quality. It's still sharp. It's still crisp and clear. No problem. But yeah, if you want to do 6K, nah, yeah, that that is the thing right there. But as I said, 4K 60, 4K 30, 16 by 9 is okay for me. Okay. So I'm gonna go right now, guys. See you next time. Bye.